Hello, welcome back to my channel, and this is part two of my shopping unboxing, and it is a goodie from Fendi, and I don't own anything from Fendi at all, and um, so I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm literally filming one right after the other, but now I get to wear my necklace, and I got this because I, when we were like moving and, well, leaving the country basically, the United States, I sold off everything pretty much because we're traveling with a couple of suitcases and there's like three or four boxes at my parents house of like just the stuff that we kept which was mostly winter clothes because we're traveling kind of in like uh, warm countries and there's like scarves and like a jacket some cashmere sweaters you know things like that like wintery clothes um I apologize I just saw like a fly thingy flying around like little fruit flies and right from the lens you probably can see it and yeah, it's just that. And the construction, again, super loud. I apologize. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Okay, so, I had money from everything that I sold, like all my collection of shoes. I sold a couple of bags and just a ton of clothes and all, like, all that stuff. So, from, I just had that money and this is something that I had on my list. Not on my list, but I had my eye on for years. Like years, when it just first came out. And... I was actually gonna buy this item in Portland last year, but when I went into the store to Nordstrom and I tried it on, the quality of the leather was really low, I guess. It didn't feel very nice, and I, I'm all about like the tactile feel of things and the quality of like how, like, how it looks, how it feels. I really love quality items, and I was like, I put it down, and I'm like, okay, I don't want this bag anymore. So then when we were here, we went to the Surya KLCC, and we were staying right next to the mall. And so we needed to buy SIM cards for our phones, and it turned out that that was the closest one. And then we just decided to like walk around the mall and see all the stores, just you know, have a relax because it was like right after we flew in. So we walked into Fendi, and I saw this bag, and I touched it, and I was like, wow, it is so nice. And I showed my husband, and he was like, that bag is really nice and he never really liked this bag he was like it's so fine whatever i don't really care about it but when he saw it and he like touched the leather it's so nice and the thing is it's a lot better quality than the one was in portland in nordstrom so i don't know what that's related to but it was completely like different quality it was like a whole like like what is that what is that phrase like heaven and earth like difference was like worlds apart so yeah so I did end up, I didn't buy it then, and then I got, I took a picture of it because I couldn't decide between two colors. And so I was thinking, and I was thinking, and I was thinking, and I chose oh, no, this color, which I'll show you. And I'll tell you why I went with this color. So yesterday we went to the pavilion, I went into Fendi, and they had one. And it was like a brand new one practically. They just put it on display, it had like no scratches, it was perfect. Because the other one had a little bit of wear already on it from the display and everything, and they didn't have any more. So it came in this big bag. And this really pretty Fendi ribbon. So let's open it. I haven't opened it yet and I haven't looked at it because I was waiting for this unboxing. So I'm really excited to open this bag. So I finally get to play with it. And here's the receipt. And this has the uh, VAT information to get 5% back at the airport when you are leaving Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia, I should say. So there's, I'll just take out uh, that outside. Okay, so they gave me this really big box. It's not really big actually, compared, I guess considering it's an item. And it is a thick, hard box, but it is a collapsible one. This one I put it together. I don't know how this even opens, if it's magnetic or, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, so this is a magnetic box. So, big yellow box with Fendi Roma on it. Open it up, and inside, ooh, it's packaged. Really nice. It has this tissue paper with Fendi on it. And let me do this, actually. Hope you can see this better. Ooh, it's upside down. Okay. There is a dust bag. Like this. And I noticed they had black dust bags with white lettering, and then they had white dust bags with black lettering for the exact same bags. So I think it's just whichever one you get. It's like this. Here it is. Ah. This is the mini peekaboo. 
in the Dove color with silver hardware. And I got the Twilly with it. And it came in this dust bag right here. But they were kind enough to, I guess, wrap it for me. Because when I was in the Surya Mall the first time, I saw this in the black and it had the gold hardware and it was beautiful. But the gold is very, very, very shiny gold. It's almost yellow. It's not even yellow gold, it was just like the color yellow and it was very, very bright. And then I saw this one and I just love the neutral color. It's called Dove. I don't remember if I mentioned that. But it's like almost has this like army green undertone, in my opinion. And it's just a beautiful beautiful color the bag it smells so nice this is lambskin leather which i love it's my favorite leather ever and so the lady showed me this bag and it had the twilly on it and i fell in love with it so i had to buy it with it and this is i don't remember how much this cost because the whole ring is to usd to like all the conversions and everything i don't honestly remember but i just know it's less expensive than buying it in the states plus you get the five percent fat back which is not a lot five percent isn't that much but i mean you get something back right so it has no feet and it looks like this and it has the silver hardware which i really like i've been loving silver hardware lately and so it has the strap that comes with it i don't really know what to say about this bag but other than that i absolutely love it it's so pretty i could not stop thinking about it of course it comes with the what is this the little raincoat for it and I think this is the tags for it. Okay, right, this is the care booklet and yeah. Oh, and then this, it contains an RFID chip in the bag for authentication. And here's the little rain jacket for it, which I probably will not use because I'm not that careful with my handbags. But how cute! Okay, seriously, how cute is this? It's adorable, isn't it? There you go. And, and since the bag doesn't really close, I mean, I guess it could like help with not having the ring fall inside. But it's just such a cute bag. I'm obsessed with it. I wanted this bag the first time around when it came out in like 2010, except it was the really big version. Like it wasn't even like the, the regular one was like the bigger sized one that now is the medium, I believe. And it's like it was huge. But it has these little clasps that come apart. I'm, just, I'm like way too excited. I'm all over the place. Okay, so this has the, this is upside down, has Fendi engraved here. And you can close it or you can leave it open. The lady told me that the front of the bag is the one that has the zipped pocket in the front. And there is a plaque on it, which I don't think I'm going to be able to show you. But it says Fendi made in Italy. And the back side of the bag has a slip pocket here, which would be cool for a credit card, I guess. And they usually have one side locked and one side open. And they had a bunch of colors. They had this gorgeous burgundy, but it had gold hardware. And I'm kind of loving silver hardware, to be fair. Oh, and the reason I didn't get the black is because my husband's like, it's gonna compete with the Kelly you wanna get, because I wanna get a black box calf Kelly. That's like my holy grail bag. So, thinking of the future. And these little clasps have the Fendi logo and there's this twilly I think it's called like the 60s twilly because it has this like throwback to the flower and it is 100% silk and I think it's really cute I like having the twillies on one handle of a bag like I don't like them there's two handles and you have to do either both of them or you have to do only one of the handles I really like it when there's like one top handle kind of like the Kelly so yeah, it doesn't have any feet. I don't know the dimensions of this handbag. I will link it down below so you can take a look, but it is so cute. Okay, let me show you. The leather is very soft, especially on the uh, strap. So it has Fendi engraved on the loops. Let's put this on. I'm like all over the place. I'm way too excited right now. Okay, so try to show you the size so this is what it looks like on my body and it's kind of very similar to the Alma BB which is one of my favorite bags and so when I was at the mall I first walked into Louis Vuitton because I was taking a look at the 
uh, what is that back called? The Saint Germain BB because I really like it, but I'm having problems with my PM Saint Germain, so I'm kind of weary of that handbag now. This is what it looks like on the shoulder, and this is what it looks like across the body. And it's such a comfortable handbag. It is so lightweight. It falls at the most comfortable like length. It's very. It sits comfortably on your body. It's really soft and squishy, and like, it smells amazing. It's just. And it is leather all inside and outside. And I don't know where the RFID tag is or if there's like an authenticity. Oh, it's in here. It's in the pocket. Okay. Oh, so it's right here. Inside of the zip pocket, there is the authenticity tag. And yeah. This is what it looks like. This is my new baby. So cute. I love it. I'm so excited for this bag. One thing to note, I guess this is, um, I'm not used to this because I've lived in the United States for such a long time, but there's like no return. So if you buy something, that's it, you bought it. Which I know for a lot of countries is normal. You can only do an exchange. Some places don't even let you do an exchange. But for me, it's very disheartening or disconcerting because I'm so used to being able to return something if I change my mind. So this is forcing me to be a lot more decisive. So yeah, but I love this bag. I couldn't get it off my mind. I'm so excited to use it. Yay! I can finally use it. It's so pretty. And it fits my phone perfectly. And there's like so much room in there. And the reason I say this is because I went into Dior and I tried on one of their Diorama bags. And literally my phone could not fit in it. It couldn't even fit. And the guy's like, well, you know, you can like hold it in your hand. And I'm like, why do I need a handbag that I have to hold my phone in my hand? That's absurd. So yeah. That is my new baby. My new peekaboo. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.